hello wordpress people so in this video we are going to create a rest api which will upload file so before jumping into the code i would like to know that this way this is going to be a part of this playlist let's learn wordpress rest api so if you are new to this video i would suggest to start watching this playlist so that you know what i am going to do in this video so basically i'm gonna use uh, <coughs> i'm gonna use controller class for creating wordpress rest api so for that i will use my custom plugin so if you are new to this video i would recommend to watch this playlist from the beginning otherwise if you know what you are doing just keep continue watching the video so let's jump into the code before jumping into the code if you are new to Gutenberg development then I would suggest to watch or review this website called wpvoyage.com this has very good tips and tricks regarding Gutenberg development and Gutenberg editor so please go and check out this site thank you now before jumping into the code I would so this is my local site uh, we will be creating API for this website this is the postman and here is the endpoint uh, we are going to create so this is wordpress default uh, root endpoint and then this is our plugin slug version and this is the endpoint slug so currently this endpoint won't work because we haven't really created yet so let's start creating a new rest api so for that uh, i'm gonna open my custom plugin so let's open my custom plugin if you have watched my previous videos i always use my custom plugin to create tutorials so this is the custom plugin and here i'm gonna include one file called class custom upload api.php in the includes folder now um, i will copy and paste my previously created custom api and then I will rename that file to this new name sorry so this is our custom class to create rest api I'm gonna change the class name and I will call it my rest load file and I'm gonna explain each and everything to you just in case you don't know what the controller class is and all so basically control class uh, is nothing but kind of skeleton to create rest apis our own rest api where we can define the namespace which is this part and then this is the resource name which is this part so in in this case our resource will be wp upload sorry okay then here in the register routes we have to register our custom endpoint so this is the function where we define method so as this is the upload method 
uh, user is going to input so we will make this method as post method and this is the callback actual uh, actual things will happen here whatever we write in this callback uh, it will execute when we execute this api permission callback i'm not gonna do this in this video we will check this later but this is basically we want to give permission to specific users to execute an api for example this api should be executed by logged in user only so that thing we can do using this uh, permission callback but we are not going to do this in this video now get items is not the ideal function name so let me make upload item and make it like this now i'm gonna remove everything here and just let's let's do this just for check our api is now executing or not so i'm gonna go in the postman and hit send so it says pass that means now our api is ready now we have to so this is the function where we need to do all of our check now before that this is the item schema so schema is nothing but the representation of the data so whatever data you want to get in the response that we have to define over here so what we are going to do that whatever file we upload we will get the id and the url of the file in the response so i will keep the id and then i will uh, add url and it will be type string you url of the file and i'm gonna remove all unnecessary stuff so schema is ready again in detail i have already created video uh, in my playlist so the link is in the description section so that's that item schema so this item schema is used in prepare item for response where we are getting id and let's remove let's add url here url and then i'm gonna add dummy url as of now and then i'm gonna remove all other stuff so our prepare item for response function is ready now uh, for that we have to have a field of file type so let's say i'm gonna save uh, field name is uh, wp file set the type file and from here we can add files so let's add logo.png now uh, we have to catch this file in this function so for that we have to use this function get file params get file params 
Now I'm going to let me do die over here and I will print this file so that you know what we get over here. <coughs> As you can see, we are getting the file data over here in this BWP file argument, which is this. Now, we have the file. Now we have to upload the file. So in order to upload file in WordPress, we have to use this function, media handle, upload. Again, the tutorial regarding this media handle upload is already created so i'm gonna do this and here we have to add this parameter whatever we define over here so i'm gonna add that and now let's see what happens let's see if we get so this will return attachment id of the uploaded file and also it will add in the media library in the back end as well so first of all let me open the back end and i will go to media Now let's try to run this API. So it is giving me in fact giving me a fatal error that this function is not defined. So yeah, in order to use this function, we have to include some files. So let me show you which files we need to add. So we have to add these three files in our function. And now I'm gonna execute the API again. And it is giving us an ID of the attachment. So let's see if our attachment is uploaded or not. So I'm gonna refresh the page. And yeah, this is the attachment and this is the ID 27960. That means our file is successfully uploaded. Now what we need to do here that we want to get the id and the url in our api response so for that what we are going to do is that we will check if not is wp yeah meaning uh, our api uh, our function is executed successfully then we will get the attachment object by using get post function so here we will get attachment object and then here we created this function prepare item for response so we will use this function And as this is the class based uh, method, so we have to use this over here. So this will target current class object and current, we are targeting the current classes method. And here we are passing this um, object in this. Now let's see uh, 
what we get over here. So now if I execute the API, we are getting some error. Um, to a few arguments, to function. So a prepared item accept two argument. Okay. So we have to pass this default request as well. Now let's execute the API. And yeah, sorry. So we are getting this ID and this URL. So this is not the uploaded attachments URL at the moment. We have added this uh, static uh, value for the URL. Now, how do we get the URL for, from the attachment ID? So we have to use this function wp get attachment url so here uh, in the post we will get so we have passed the uh, uh, attachment object over here which will uh, get through this post here and then from the post id we will get this post id and post ID is the uh, attachment ID in this case. So now if we again execute this API, now we have the uh, actual URL of the attach uploaded attachment. So let's confirm. Let me copy this and I'm going to run this over here. So yeah, this is our uploaded image. Okay, so yeah, this is how simply we can create the upload API. Now this is not enough, but uh, for this we have to control which format, uh, I mean which file should be uploaded. Currently, any format file will be uploaded to the site, which is wrong. So in our next video, we will be controlling the format of the file. Uh, we will allow only particular formatted file to the, uh, to the site. So yeah, I'm gonna provide this uh, link. Uh, this is my custom plugin. So my custom plugin git repo uh, link I'm gonna provide in the comment section. So this is for the video guys. Uh, if you have any doubt or question, please write down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. Jai Somnath, Har Har Mahadev.